Hi, it's Professor Moylan. This video gives a more detailed description of the Pivot to Online online training program for fall 2020 preparedness training for college faculty. Now, you don't need to watch this video. If you're ready to go to the online seminar, just go to the top of the uh, page here, the website, and click on that link, online seminar, and that will lead you right over to it. However, if you want a little bit more detail, let me walk you through what is there. Here is the table of contents, uh, and you see it's broken up. Section 1 deals with pedagogy, section 2A with WebEx, 2B, Zoom, 3A, Blackboard, 3B, Canvas, Section 4, Instructional Media, Section 5, Microsoft Teams, Section 6 is for Absolute Beginners, Section 7, some more miscellaneous pedagogy content, and then finally, Section 8, uh, the premium aspect of it. This is a freemium business model. All those other sections, absolutely free, uh, the premium there in Section 8. Okay, so let's go ahead and just walk through those sections very, very quickly, starting with section one, getting started, how to prepare to pivot your class for remote instruction, fall 2020 online class trilogy, converting from physical to virtual classroom, and before day one, your online syllabus. And you see the timings there. Uh, most of the videos are between five and seven minutes. That first one a little bit longer, 11 minutes. In section two, we get into the video conferencing tool in our online trilogy. So section 2A, WebEx, scheduling class meetings and office hours, meeting overview and recording meetings. 2B for Zoom is really the exact same thing. 2B, Zoom, scheduling class meetings and office hours, meeting overview, recording meetings. Section three gets into our learning management systems, Blackboard, and Canvas cannot handle Moodle in this program, sorry. So section 3A, Blackboard, Blackboard Overview, posting content to your course in Blackboard, content, blogs, groups, and email, gradebook, and assignments and quizzes, virtually identical for Canvas, slight difference in that third one, Canvas Overview, posting content to your course in Canvas, student communications, announcement and email, gradebook, assignments and quizzes. In section four, we get into instructional media. That is instructional video, but it's also instructional audio. Don't forget that. Uh, I would strongly suggest you watch the first video, overview of instructional video audio creation. And the reason is there's lots of things you can use. PowerPoint, Presenter, Panopto, Studio, WebEx, Zoom. You're probably not gonna wanna use all of them. So in the first uh, video, it, it gives you an overview of all of your options, kind of help you pick and choose which ones you might want to uh, dive deeper into. The, uh, and so there you see the layout of those, and they're all you know uh, uh, relatively short, none of them longer than uh, 10 and a half minutes, uh, some of them much shorter than that. Uh, creating instructional videos with PowerPoint. This is so simple. I go through very painstaking detail in this uh, video that takes 10 minutes. I'll go ahead and give you the super quick uh, uh, instruction because it's really easy to create videos with PowerPoint. So here are the four steps. Create your slides, record your video, save as an MP4 file, post to your learning management system. Okay, so step number one, you go ahead and create your slides. Once you've created your slides, you are now ready to record. So you bring up your file, you go to the first slide, and then you hit that button that says record slideshow. When you do that, your screen is gonna change and it's gonna look like this. So you see your PowerPoint slide, but it's framed, that black frame there. That is your video recorder, if you will. You see that button up there that says record. When you are ready to go, you push that button and you just start talking. You are now creating a video and the video will have your voice, of course, that's the audio component, and it will have your slide, that is the video component. So when you're done with the first slide, you just punch that little button there to advance the slide. You keep talking, you keep talking, you keep talking. You advance through all of your slides. You narrate your slides. When you are all done, there you go. You hit the stop button and you are done recording your video. By the way, it gives you, if you've got a webcam attached, it gives you your uh, uh, web picture there uh, in, in the lower 
right hand corner. You don't have to have that. You can turn that off if you want. So then after you've recorded it, you save it as an MP4 file. You go to save as, and then you scroll down there. You're not going to save this as a PowerPoint. You're going to save this as an MP4 video, MPEG video. And now it will convert it to a video. So you might have had 10, 15, 20 slides, but now you just have one video that is the continuous running of your slides with you narrating them. Now that you've got that video, post it to your learning management system. Here are a couple of micro lecture videos that I posted to my entrepreneurship class in the uh, spring semester. Okay, you've got lots of choices in, in what to do. Presenter is really good. Uh, you can even use uh, WebEx or Zoom. Uh, if you've got Canvas, Studio is a great capability, but you only have that if you have Canvas. Panopto, a lot of people have Panopto, uh, so that's a great way to do it as well. Don't forget the ability to create instructional audios. It's so simple and it can be a very powerful tool. A lot of people, that's kind of an afterthought, but I've got two uh, micro lectures there, easy to create audios and create a podcast for your class. Section five is Microsoft Teams, but no need to reinvent the wheel. Microsoft did such a great job there. Simply a link over to Microsoft's training for Teams. In section six, for those that are really uncertain about the technology, this really scales it back and, and starts from a very, very basic level. So section six is for absolute beginners. Introduction to learning management systems, introduction to video conferencing, introduction to PowerPoint, learn from a sixth grader how to create instructional videos in less than two minutes. I'm not kidding, Eileen is in the sixth grade. And then finally, introduction to creating instructional videos with PowerPoint. Section seven, just some more miscellaneous pedagogy, remote instruction best practices, actively engaging your students, utilizing asynchronous and synchronous instruction, easy method for distributing exams if you are not using your learning management system for this, auto grading multiple choice exams if you are not using your learning management system for this. And then in chapter eight, that's the premium content. If you were, uh, I ask you to evaluate your experience with the seminar. Do you want live training via video conference and so on? It's almost five hours of free training, but it's broken up into these five to 12 minute micro lectures. It's very, very modular. Pick and choose what you need. Skip what you don't need. If you want ideas, things that you might do, the third video here on this website, right below this one, is how I pivoted my courses at spring break. But again, that's only to give you ideas. If you don't need ideas, if you just want to get to the uh, seminar, do that. Reach up to the uh, hyperlink, check it out now, and tell your colleagues the online seminar uh, link up at the top there. Good luck pivoting to online.